in complex analytic function we will be proving the ml inequality and we will be solving one of the problems right before that please like share and subscribe this particular channel and click on bell icon to get a new notification let us start now the ml inequality first we will be looking at the definition then we will be proving it the definition is given as estimation 11 is also called as an ml inequality okay gives an upper bound for an contour integral if you consider f of z as an complex valued continuous function on the contour r and if its absolute value mod of f of z is nothing but bounded by a constant m value for all values of z on r then the equation is given as the mod of integral from a to b f of z dz will be less than or equal to ml or mod of a to b f of z dz will be less than or equal to a to b integral mod of f of z dz okay m is nothing but an a maximum value of f of z and l is the length of the contour r okay now this is the equation how to prove it okay consider the first term here we can see that it is ml now here it is integral from a to b mod of f of z dz right so we can see that this is nothing but ml right so we will try to prove the first one how ml became integral a to b mod of f of z dz so first one if you consider m value m value is nothing but maximum value of an mod of f of z right now come into second one come to length l is not one length now how to find the length if you consider graphically a picture this is another one a real part of z and this is an imaginary part of z right now if you consider a piece of neck curve from a to b as f of z okay you have to find the length of this one first only finding the slope of it slope of it is given as when you differentiate the f of z with respect to z then we get in a slope which is equal to f dash of z right now you have to find the length of it now length is equal to nothing but when you integrate it from a to b f dash of z then we get nothing but a length of it right this is m this is l now coming to this particular term okay it is given as integral from a to b mod of f of z dz but we know that mod of f of z the maximum value is nothing but m so it is nothing but m right so we can take the m outside of the curve so it becomes m into integral from a to b dz right so again we can write dz as nothing but to integral a to b dz we can write as dz by dt into dt what we are doing we are differentiating z and finding the integration of it from a to b so it is nothing but it is a length right so which is equal to m into l right so this particular term became ml okay in this form now we will be try to prove it how mod of integral a to b f of z dz will be less than or equal to integral a to b mod of f of z dz okay now we'll be proving it how it becomes less than or equal to okay now if you consider that integration from a to b w of z dz it's a complex number integration so it has a real part and imaginary part so in the polar form we can write as r naught e pa i theta right now in this particular case when you divide okay when you divide the both the side with e pa i theta then what we get as nothing but integral from a to b w of z e pa minus i theta dz so here it gets cancelled and it becomes r naught right now when we get r naught is not much when you find the modulus of this one so modulus of this particular value is nothing but r naught 
Now if you consider this particular term as an E of Z. Then in a U of Z we have a real part of an E of Z plus imaginary part of an E of Z. Right. So in this one we are integrating and find the modulus of it. So it becomes integration from A to B. E of Z dz is equal to integration from a to b real part of an a e of z dz plus integration a to b imaginary part of an a e of z dz right and we are finding the modulus of it so modulus of this particular term is nothing but we don't have any imaginary part we have only real part so when you substitute e of z as w of z e power minus i theta then we can see that it becomes integration a to b w of z e power minus i theta dz and when you find the modulus of this one is equal to nothing but it becomes integral a to b real part of an a W of Z e power minus I theta dz. Right. Now if you consider one example. Right. You consider Z is equal to 1 plus I. The real part of an A Z is equal to 1. And mod of Z is equal to under root of 1 square plus 1 square. Right. Which is equal to root 2 which is equal to 1.414 right so it is less than mod z so real part of z is less than mod z it can be equal also if you consider z as a real number okay so from this one we can see that when you integrate a real part of an a w of z e power minus e i theta dz then it will be less than or equal to integration from a to b mod of w of z e power minus i theta dz right so real part will be less than or equal to mod of an a the function if you consider this particular function is an f of z okay then we can see that integral from a to b f of z dz the first one and we have to find the modulus of this one will be less than or equal to come to this particular term it becomes integral a to b mod of f of z dz right so we have put this one also now this is nothing but it becomes m into l also now come to the question the question is find the upper bond when c is an upper half circle for mod z is equal and a is greater than 1, right? Now, this is nothing but the center of a circle, right? And they're given that radius is a. So, this is nothing but minus a and a, right? Plus a. Now, we have to find the modulus of integral of closed curve 1 by z square plus 1 whole square dz, right? Now, in this particular case, we'll be using the ml inequality. As we know that mod of integration of f of z dz will be less than or equal to m into l right now defining well values of m and l now come into the length value okay length is nothing but l value in the circle we know that length of a circle is given as 2 pi a now we are considering the half circle right we consider only the half circle right so we would be dividing by 2 which is equal to pi into a so length is equal to nothing but pi into a. Now we will find the value of m. As we know that z is equal to x plus i by. Right. Then we get z square is equal to x square minus y square plus i times n 2x y. We will find the mod of it. It becomes mod of z square is equal to. It becomes under root of n 
x square minus y square whole square plus 2xy whole square. Right. Similarly, when you find the mod of an z, we know that z is equal to x plus y. Here becomes under root of an x square plus y square. Right. Now, when you find the value of an mod of z whole square, it is equal to x square plus y square. Right. By seeing this one, we can say that mod of z square will be greater than or equal to mod of z square. Right. Now, we can write this particular form as mod of z square plus 1 and minus 1 will be greater than or equal to mod of z whole square. Right. But we want a value of z square plus 1. Right. So, we will be considering separating it. We know that mod of minus 1 is not but 1. So, we can write this one as mod of z square plus 1 plus 1 greater than or equal to mod of z whole square. So, we get mod of z square plus 1 will be greater than or equal to mod z whole square minus 1. Right. Here, z is nothing but we can consider as a radius. Right. As we have to find the upper bound. Substitute here, we get mod of z square plus 1 will be greater than or equal to, it becomes h square minus 1, right. But we have to find the whole square also. So, we will be squaring on both sides. Then you get z square plus 1 whole square mod. Okay, will be greater than or equal to mod of a square minus 1. And you have to find the inverse of it. Then we can say 1 by mod of z square plus 1 whole square will be less than i equal to 1 by a square minus 1 whole square. Right. So, we got the value of an a m also. The same thing we do it. Now, m into l which is becomes 1 by a square minus 1 whole square into pi into a. Right. No need of finding the mod of it. Right. As it is an a real number. Radius is real number and we have find the mod of z only, right? So we can see that the mod of integration of 1 by z square plus 1 whole square dz for a half bound will be less than or equal to pi by a by a square minus 1 whole square. Okay.